हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर गोपाल बी सारस्वत वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इकोनॉमिका टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजीज वी जनरली कम अक्रॉस वाइल स्टडिंग एंड लर्निंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बिजनेस रिसर्च मेथड्स सो हाउ वी कैन थिंक लाइक अ रिसर्चर एंड हाउ दीज डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजीज इज गोइंग टू हैव a better impact on our research if we know are aware about these research the words and the terminologies let's find out their research concepts the research construct and the research variable these are the three primarily thing that you require for research problem formulation concept leads to you towards constructs and constructs leads you towards variable but before me uh, knowing the word meanings of these concept construct and the variables let's find out what is phenomena phenomena is when we conduct a research we seek to know what is in order to understand explain and predict phenomena may be when water evaporates that is also a phenomena and in our day to day life we generally come across a bit different sort of phenomena for example we might want to answer the question what will be the department's reaction to the new flexible work schedule why did the stock market price surge higher when all normal indicators suggest it would go down so the phenomena occur on day to day life and we generally notice it and they become acceptable all across the society and they are very simple and occurring on frequent basis so from phenomena we move towards concepts a concept is a generally accepted collection of meanings or characteristics associated with certain events objects conditions situations and behaviors for example when i ask you to think about a spreadsheet so when i ask this you just thinking about a microsoft excel spreadsheet or a google spreadsheet you are not thinking about any particular spreadsheet maybe a spreadsheet you have prepared at your workplace a spreadsheet you have prepared for your project no you are just thinking about a spreadsheet so that is a concept when i ask you about a warranty card so you are thinking about a warranty card as a concept and the concept is when you buy a product if there is a warranty available along with it this means that you will use this product during that warranty period any kind of maintenance requirement will be given at free of cost by the vendor so warranty card when i ask you you never thought about a warranty of your any electronic equipment or any other thing so concept is an important thing in business research for example we see a man passing and identify that he is running walking skipping crawling or hopping these movements all represent concepts we generally abstract from the concepts and certain visual events we generally abstract by which we identify that moving object is a adult male rather than adult female or it is a truck or a horse so abstract comes from a concepts we use numerous concept on daily basis in our thinking conversing and other activities the source of concepts concepts that are in frequent and general use have been developed over a period of time by shared languages 
we acquire them through personal experience and one way to handle this problem to borrow a concept from other language or other field is to find a concept from a different language use it for the research for example the concept of gravitation is borrowed from physics and it is used in marketing in an attempt to explain why people shop where they do why you go frequently and again and again on a particular shop whenever you have a particular need for anything so what attracts you towards that particular store and that is what the gravitation concept similarly the concept of distance is used in attitude measurement to describe the degree of variability between the attitude of two or more persons so concepts come from with the shared languages next the construct A construct is an image or an abstract idea specifically invented for a given research or theory building purpose. So, you divide a concept into constructs. But here one thing is very crucial and you ask yourself a question. Concept and construct, they seem to be same but how they are different. For example, let's say a Heather is a human resource analyst at CADsoft, an architectural software company that employs technical writers to write product manuals. And she is analyzing task attributes of a job in need of redesign. She knows the job description of a technical writer consists of three components, presentation quality, language skill, job interest. Her job analysis reveals even more characteristics also. Let's find out. Here you can see we started with the three cons concepts for the profile of content writing or technical writing. Job instruct, interest is a construct language skill was another criteria that is also construct presentation quality is also construct let's check this out in the previous slide in the previous slide i defined these three construct the first the job interest concept language skill construct and presentation quality these constructs these constructs are further divided as a small small characteristics like vocabulary syntax and spelling especially in case of language presentation quality as a construct further divided into characteristics like manuscript errors keyboarding speed and format accuracy so this means that constructs are the smaller forms of the concepts and phenomena is a larger concept larger concept but subdivided in terms of constructs so when you are moving from a concept to constructs we are coming from most concrete form to the most abstract Now, moving ahead, the next one is variables. The term variable is used as a synonym for construct or property being studied. In the contest, a variable is a symbol of event, act, characteristics, trait or attribute that can be measured and to which we assign value. And these variables are different in nature in research. They are independent, they are dependent, and sometimes they are controlled. Let's find out. First is independent and dependent variables. 
independent variables are they are by their own and by making or controlling these independent variables we try to find out a change on a dependent variable for example if inflation of india varies increases or decreases then how the unemployment is going to be affected so inflation become an independent variable and unemployment becomes the dependent variable so in research we call these independent and dependent variables with their different nicknames for example independent variable we also know it as predictor we also know it as presumed cause as a stimulus stimulus predicted from and descendant and manipulated whereas the dependent variables are known as criterion presumed effect response predicted to consequence and measured outcome The next type of variable is moderating or interaction variables. The moderating variable is a second independent variable that is included because it is believed to have a significant contributory or contingent effect on original independent and dependent variable relationship. For example, stress and depression. Stress leads to depression. Depression is a dependent variable stress is a control variable or independent variable but social support is a moderating variable further the donald r cooper provided this model and said let's say independent variable is four day working week dependent variable is the productivity of the farm so then the age of the worker is a moderating variable this means that if your workforce is young and even you are four day working week you are following still your productivity can be high but if your workers age is high they are more than 50 and so even though you are have a four day working week the productivity will be low next variable is extraneous variable these variable exist that might conceivably affect a given relationship. Sometimes they can be treated as independent variable or moderating variable. But most these variables must be either be assumed or excluded from the study. Therefore, we include them as a controlled variables in our investigation and ensure that our results are not biased by not including them. These extraneous variables are also known as confounding variables and they are being used along with independent and dependent variables relationship. Let's find out another model. We are continuing the same previous model. Four day working week, independent variable. Dependent variable is productivity and moderating variable is work, worker's age. Here, the control variable is weather conditions. If the weather is not good, the productivity may suffer. But it is not having a direct impact on productivity, but indirectly it may have an impact. Whereas the confounding variable is meeting attendance. How much uh, workforce is attending on a particular day, how many people are absent on a particular day, it may also cause the productivity to differ. So this is another model of these variables. Further, intervening variables. These variables mentioned with regard of cause casual relationship are concrete and clearly measurable. And they can be seen, counted and observed in some way. Sometimes, however, one may not be completely satisfied by the explanation they give, but they will use them as an intervening variable like IV. For example, the same model of Donald R. Cooper. Four day working week, independent variable. Dependent variable is productivity. Worker says is our 
moderating variable, whereas the confounding variable is meeting attendance, and weather is our control variable. Now we included a one variable intervening variable that is job satisfaction, and another is routine work. This means that how many people are satisfied with their job? This means that they must be motivated and they will perform with the full motivation and with their hundred percent. Similarly, routine work. How many people are engaged in routine work? That is also going to affect the productivity. So this means that these all variable have a direct and indirect relationship on each other, and because of which the productivity may get either boosted or suffer. 